It has been a cool day across the area, but some of us have seen some sunshine out there. As we make our way to the overnight hours and on into our Friday morning, we do have the potential for a little bit of frost, especially along the I-45 corridor, where that's temperatures getting into that 33 to 35 degree range. I think the rest of us will be above that and don't have to worry about it, but it is going to be chilly all across the area as clouds continue to decrease across the region. And I think that process will continue as the cold front continues to dive down into the Gulf of Mexico and and the chill is going to be in the air for tonight under those mostly clear skies. As far as the drought is concerned, this is the latest drought monitor coming out. We can see that it's a little higher here near I-45 and then back from Meridian, Hamilton, and Gulfway. One thing that this did not take into account is the rain that we saw on Wednesday. So with that, we probably don't have quite as much going on here on the map, and we'll see that as we head into next week. Drought is spreading across the state, though, so we're just going to keep an eye on that. Thankfully for our area, we're pretty much drought-free. So let's check out what we are tracking for tonight. Temperatures will be falling down into the 30s for most locations. And again, this is where we could see some frost, especially as you get closer to the Trinity River Valley east of I-45. And that's why we do have that frost advisory for folks near Fairfield and Centerville. But the rest of of us into the mid to upper 30s in the morning and then we should see the mid 60s with plenty of sunshine Friday afternoon. It is looking nice here across the area and it should be nice right on into your weekend. Temperatures will be going from the 60s up to near 70 on Saturday. 76 Sunday can't beat that. Then more upper 70s as we head into the beginning of next week. And then as we push closer to Veterans Day, it looks like a cold front will be close to the area. When does it exactly come through? Thursday or Friday? Models are battling that out, but we'll continue to track that potential and it should cool off as we head toward the next weekend.